If you own a decently spec laptop or a desktop, the thought of running a good old gaming title might have definitely come to your mind. I mean, you can totally run an old title on your brand new CPU or GPU at 1080p on highest graphic settings, right? Short answer, not really. Long answer, you're gonna find that out in this episode of Elemental where we talk about the smaller things in tech that make a much bigger impact on the real world. You can catch us every Sunday at 1 p.m. And if you love this series, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so that you're always notified of our latest videos. So look, if you went through that old stash of CD games, the chances of reliving and reviving that game are highly unlikely. Why is that? That's because your new system runs on a 64-bit processor and operating system, while that old CD was meant for 32-bit systems. To make it as simple as possible, let's look at it this way. You may already know that a bit is a single character in binary which can express up to two values, 0 and 1. If you have two bits, you can express up to four values. If you have three bits, you can express up to eight values. So on and so forth, the number increases exponentially with 2 to the power of n, where n is the number of bits. Now, in the context of processors and operating systems, it refers to the amount of memory that it can address. For instance, a 32-bit processor can address up to 4 gigabytes of memory. A 64-bit processor can address up to a whopping 16 billion gigabytes of memory. I told you, it increases exponentially. Cool, so what does the system have to do with this? Remember the quote from Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, that kind of fits over here. You see, when a program is being developed, it has to be coded separately to work with either a 32-bit system or a 64-bit system. So if you run a 32-bit game on a 64-bit system, it's going to run it on an emulation. There are times when this works perfectly, but not always. A lot of times you may run into an error. This may be because the program will try to run an additional code, or maybe because you don't have the drivers that the older game uses, or even worse, the older game is designed for 16-bit systems. Now, apart from this whole 64-bit mess, you may also find problems in older CDs running DRM or Digital Write Management like Securom or SafeDisk. This was mainly implemented to keep piracy at bay, but then support was axed after Windows 10 was launched. Now, there's another interesting issue of having multi-core CPUs. Older games were designed mostly keeping single-core or dual-core CPUs in mind, while in today's age, quad-core systems have become more common. Modern CPUs try to split the workload of a program among different cores for better efficiency, which doesn't quite work for older programs. They won't crash instantly, but it would just be really, really slow. So what can you do to play your favorite old-school titles? Well, there isn't a be-all, end-all solution for this, but you can definitely try a few workarounds. If you want to play really old 16-bit games, you may want to download a separate emulator like DOSBox. If your game is slightly newer, you can try looking for online guides specific to your game, which can give you workarounds for registry hacks and DRM issues. You can also find fixer utilities that are like launcher windows that let you tweak settings before you start playing an older game. You can also try looking for newer builds of your game on services like Steam or GOG or good old games. This may cost you money, but ultimately it will be more reliable than shady solutions. You can also try sideloading a 32-bit version of Windows 10, which is available on Amazon by the way. We don't recommend downloading Windows 7 because Microsoft has axed the support for it, so you wouldn't be protected against the latest online malware and viruses. Now, if you think your old game sucks performance-wise on a new PC, you may want to force load it on a single code by going into Task Manager, clicking on the Details tab, then right-clicking on the process of your old game, and then clicking on Set Affinity. You can then choose the number of cores you want it to work on. 
Now there are some caveats involved while you're trying to revive an old game. Let's say you're playing an old game on an emulator like DOSBox. You'll soon realize that, yeah, in 90s, it took you an hour to clear up three megabytes of memory. But these days, that problem doesn't exist anymore because you have an abundance of memory. That poses a new problem and that is of having higher performance than you might have expected. This means that even when you put little input, your character is just gonna swing past the screen. Now there's another issue of resolution. You see, older games were designed for CRT monitors that had resolutions around 640 by 480. That means that if you're trying to play that old game on a newer monitor, on a newer system, you'll first of all realize that your resolution is much higher. And secondly, that LED and LCD technologies are way different from CRT monitors. This means that you will see an image that is way more defined, meaning your game is going to look way worse. So during times like this, it's best to wait for a remastered or revised edition of a game so that you get the best out of it. Finally, just make sure that you have researched enough on the kind of solution that you're going for because the last thing you want to do is cook your computer or just end up with some sort of malware that you know keeps a track of whatever you're doing or even worse, some sort of virus that slows your computer down. And that brings us to the end of this episode of Elemental, which is your favorite old school gaming title. Let us know in the comments. And for all things tech, log on to Gadgets360. By the way, quick reminder, new Elemental videos come out every Sunday at 1 p.m. So do not forget to subscribe to our channel and just hit that like button, man. It just supports us a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye.